Matisse, Picasso, and Leger. Within each painting, we find an interplay between lines and forms and geometries, all punctuated and enlivened by the most glorious colors. Each artist wrenched the figure out of centuries-long tradition and brought them into the modern age. The 1920s are referred to as the Nice period for Matisse. He rented rooms along the Côte d'Azur, and along with his favorite model, Henriette, he painted these glorious interiors. Henriette herself was an artist, and Matisse gave her lessons each morning. Matisse entered these rooms each day with a long white smock, like a scientist entering a laboratory. Yet he took these viscous, palpable materials of paint and through some alchemy turned them into light. Prior to 1932, Marie Therese almost died in a drowning accident. This might have been the inspiration for Picasso's The Rescue, 1932. Picasso summered in the south of France. He often went to the beach in Dinard. He kept his young lover, Marie Therese, hidden away from his wife, Olga, and he would go to the beach and quietly watch Marie Therese playing with the young children. So one sees the exuberance and the joy in this painting on the left-hand side, yet on the right-hand side is a scene of drama and pathos. The pliant, limp body of this young woman is being pulled from the water. Particularly of interest is how Picasso liberated the planes of color. They are no longer just filling in the forms, they are independent and integrated. And finally, Fernand Léger, two women and a flower of 1949. He presented the figures as would a classical artist of antiquity. They are timeless. They lack expression, but have a commanding presence. The lines are powerful. The colors are brilliant. The composition taut and locked in its plane. They confront us, though they do draw from classicism Leger took his characters from the modern world. He was fascinated by women acrobats and entertainers, performers in the circus. He was truly a man of the people and wanted to make his art one that was recognized and identifiable to the broadest audience. We see in each canvas a brilliance of color, a careful precision in composition, and a monumentality each painted by one of the towering figures of early modernism.